Alive. Okay. It's been wonderful, man. All I gotta say is thank God for y'all. Uh, but this morning I got up this morning. Put that just and, a little higher. And I got up, you know, and looked in the mirror, and all my five hair was standing up, and I said, "Man, this gonna look like Greg now. I better go home." <laughs> 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 That's good. That's good. That one's in there. I think it was. Thank you so much for You're good. You're for everything that y'all go to the ministry. Uh, thank you for your prayers, your uh, support. Uh, there are times when I go to Mexico and I feel like I'm walking on a cushion of prayers. I, was uh, I need it. I tell you, I need it. There's things going on down there. But I always say this: what the devil means for destruction, God can always turn it around yes. Yes. and gets all praise and glory. I've never seen. I, uh, I've been going to Mexico for about 31 years. In the past two years, I've never seen a hunger, a need for the Word of God as today. Any time we have a service, any time we have an altar call, they run to the front. Brother, we need prayer. We need prayer for salvation, for healing. Uh, we need prayer for protection. You know, and 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 uh, as a matter of fact, uh, several times in several other cities we go in, even while we have a service, either under our tents or in our churches, uh, city officials. They walk up front and they stop the service and they say, Sorry for the interruption, but would you pray for us, please? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. There's people that can get a hold of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and uh, thank you so much for everything thank you, you do for the ministry. I know everything y'all do, y'all do it in essence to the Lord. Hallelujah. And God honors that. And and uh, in, in the back, I think there's, uh, there, there's some pictures of what we're doing. Uh, we we have the last time I was here, I think we finished up one church and built uh, two more churches. And all the glory goes to my Lord and to God's people yeah. that supported you know the work down there. Uh, our tent ministry, it's it's really. Booming! It, it, it's like, like I said, our, our tents are filled up. Matter of fact, there's some pictures out there. You know, that, 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 you know, the church is over. That we all look at. Uh, we have since I, I, it's been over three years, I think, since I ain't taken any Americans on there because of what's happening. Uh, so I we started a youth ministry. You know, and that was out in Mexico, and what they do. Uh, uh, once a month, uh, they meet in a different church, and sometimes that's anywhere from 80 to 120 kids. There. Right. Because we believe in ministering to the kids and the young people because they're the backbone of the church. Hallelujah! They're the pastors and the apostles, the teachers Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, of the future. So that's we right. we that's we, right. uh, we are so excited about that, and and. Uh, in May, we uh, sent some finances on Mexico uh, for uh, vacation Bible schools. They very seldom uh, do that down there, but they started doing it, and uh, they had a great response uh, you know, over there, you know, with the kids. And uh, one thing I want you to, well, I want you all to understand is this: every cent, every penny you give to the ministry goes directly into the ministry. I get my pension from where I worked at. I get Social Security. The church, you know, they give me something. So like I said, they, and I believe it, it's a we, we can do so much because everything that's given goes directly into the ministry. And I, I want to let you know that. that uh, and I know, like I said, God will honor you and God will bless you. Uh, and, and, and again, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Brother Ed, uh, 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 Mr. Winnie, thank you so much for everything. Uh, I tell you what, like I said, it's been a great uh, two weeks. And uh, there's a song that I want to sing to you. It's a song that we sing.
And I've charged there in Baytown, Texas, and in Mexico. It goes like this. Dios te ama, y yo te amo así, debe que hacer. Dios te ama, y yo te amo así, debe que hacer. It means, God loves you, and I love you. That's the way it should be. Amen. Amen. God loves you, and I love you. That's the way it should be. Yes. You know, if we ever need the love of God in our lives, is these days. Uh, I'm not uh, prophesying about things getting bad, but they won't get bad. And if we ever going to depend on God's love and the love of our neighbor, it's going to be now. Yes. Yes. We're going to need each other more than ever before. And uh, the other morning, you know the Lord, it was about probably about uh, four o'clock in the morning. I woke up with with the old song. It, it's 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 an old worldly song. Uh, some of y'all uh, might remember it. And it goes like this: I got a never-ending love for you in my heart. That's all I wanna do. And I woke up with that song. <laughs> and the Lord spoke to me. Tell my people here in Michigan, I have a never-ending love for them. Amen. Yes. Yes. God loves y'all. Yes. I go over 1,500 miles to remind you, Hallelujah. God loves y'all. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, Lord. I'm a father. I'm a father. Two of the greatest commandments that uh, Jesus gave was it's found in uh, Matthew's uh, uh, 22, uh, uh, 37, where it says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. How? Oh, your heart, mind, and soul. And then he goes on to say, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Everybody here, I know we all love ourselves. I know uh, this morning I, I got up, you know, I love myself so much, I took a shower, you know. You know, I feel bad, you know. We'll see. We're supposed to love each other as we love ourselves. And in going into different churches, into different areas, uh, you know, like like, like uh, London, Mexico, even here in the States, too. Uh, we have to walk the love walk. We know that God is love. God has always been love. As a matter of fact, if, if we can say it, there in the first chapter of uh, Genesis, where it says, and God created, who could probably word it, and love created. Amen. Amen. I go with me to First John, please. Yes. First John four. Can anybody here know Spanish? Por no, poco. No comprende? Poquito. Poco a poco. Praise God. No. Well, I'll tell you what. That's right. I'm learning myself, so. I'm, I'm a, I'm a Tex, Texican. So I had to learn when I got home to the mission in Mexico. Never thought in my life I had to learn how to speak Spanish, even read it. <laughs> and I'm still learning. That, that's the main thing. As yeah. long as we remain open yes. to learn, God will help us out. That's right. That's right. 1 John 4 7. <laughs> and this morning, what I, I like to talk about the love of God. Yes. We, man, like I said, if we ever need God's love, in our lives, in our families, in our churches. Yes. It's today. He goes on to say in First John chapter four, verse seven. First John four seven says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, 
And everyone who loves is born of God and knoweth God. He who loves not known of God, for God is love. Amen. Beloved, let us love one another. And they were going to say, In this, the love of God was manifested toward us that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through Him. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is love, not the, that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Hallelujah. Beloved, if God so loved us, and He does, and He did, and He will continue to love us, Amen. we ought also to love one another. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I tell you what, we, you know, we, we all have heard about the love of God, and, 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 and I probably, well, you know, like we just read it here. But the thing that I found out in a lot of churches, a lot of people really don't comprehend or understand the love that God has for us. Man, God loves us. Yes, Lord. He loves us with a never-ending love. He loves us so much that He gave Jesus for us. Hallelujah. Yes. He gave His Son. Abundant. I mean, uh, Jesus came down and He gave His life for us. He experienced pain and suffering Weakness, unworthiness for us. Because He loved us. And that same love, that same love God has for us is telling us, saying to us, I know what you're going through. I know what you're suffering. He says, I want to do something in your life. I want to bless you. I want to heal you. I want to set you free because I love you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And then he's saying, you can come boldly before the throne of my Father yeah. <laughs> to find, find grace. Find peace. Amen. Find mercy. But then, you know, uh, some people want to say it, yeah, but uh, uh, how about my past? That's covered under the blood of Jesus. Amen. That's right. Yeah. That's covered under His mercy. That's right. Thank you, Lord. If we just repent, Believe that God is able to do abundantly and exceedingly of what we can ever think of or imagine. Amen. Amen. We shall receive. Hallelujah. Amen. See, God's a giving God. That's right. God is always giving. Hallelujah. Uh, y'all, 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 y'all remember, oh, oh, uh, brother Abraham, huh? Well, Abraham. Back, you know, before he became Abraham. Well, okay, before Abraham met God, he used to worship the moon. He, he was a moon worshiper. I think the moonies they call them. Okay, moonies. <laughs> oh boy, we're praying for you too, brother. Pray for Greg. The moon ever did anything for him. I, I don't think that the moon ever gave him anything. That's right. That's right. But when he encountered El Shaddai, woo! Lord God Almighty, oh, yeah. you know the first thing God said to him, I am going to give. Yes, Amen. Not knowing him. Amen. Amen. I mean, Abraham didn't know God. But when he met up with God Almighty, I'm going to bless you. Amen. That's I'm right. I'm going to give you land. And Abraham, you know, like us, sometimes, okay, Lord, I believe, but show me. 
Uh, like in the guy from Missouri, you know. Show me state. Okay, Lord, I believe, but show me. Yeah, right. And uh, you know what God did? He made a blood covenant. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a blood yes, he did. Covenant. That's right. Oh. Anything that God does, He kills it with blood. Amen. Oh, Lord, yeah. Amen. They made a believer Abraham, I tell you. <laughs> now Romans 4 says that he was fully persuaded yeah. that what God had promised he was going to do. Lord God. Yeah. Ooh. See, yeah. that's the same uh, attitude that we should have. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's hey, God said it. Glory to God, I believe it. That's right. Amen. But yet there's someone that says, well, I don't know. <laughs> Doubt. Now, we can believe God for certain things, but when it comes to His promises, to His blessings, well, I don't know. Well, but maybe it ain't God's will. God's will is to bless us. God's will is to give to us. He's always given. He's always there to give unto us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And, 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 and uh, for thousands of years, God has been wanting, been wanting, desiring to reveal this to His people. Man, I love you. I love you, young lady. God is saying that. Yep. I love you, He's saying. Trust me. He's saying, take me at my word. Uh, Amen. Uh, yeah. Amen. Yes. Uh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Believe what I say. <laughs> Believe what I say. Abraham became a man of faith. Hallelujah. A man of faith. He knew that what God said, he will perform. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. And that's, that's, that's the same kind of faith that we need in our lives. Everything. We have to believe that God loves us. He cares for us. That He's always, always given to us. As a matter of fact, we even have a better covenant than Abraham had through Jesus Christ. Amen. God gave His Son, hallelujah, Jesus. That's right. To come, give his life, die, shed his blood on the cross. That we also might take him at his word. Amen. To show us, this is how much I love you. For God so loved the world that he gave. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Okay, something like that, Dios amor. <laughs> he loves you so much that he gave. He's always giving. He's a giving God. One thing I found out, God is not an engine giver. Uh, 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 some people think that way. They're meant to be, well, uh, well, God gave it to me, but then he, no, no, no. God is not an engine giver. Hallelujah. Amen. God gives. Right. A lot of times, a lot of times, what God gives us, we just throw it away. You say, well, God took it from me. No. no. Right. You gave it up. Right. Because of unbelief. <laughs> because you didn't trust Him. Maybe you didn't receive it the yeah. first one. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, we all need Hallelujah. a revelation that God is love. God is love. One of the fruits that we should bear is <coughs> love. Jesus said himself, he said, and they shall know you by your fruits. So, uh, what are we producing? Sour lemons? Sour lemons? Sour apples? <coughs> Love. Love. Love is the thing that's going to draw people unto God. Mm -hmm. when, that see, when they see that love that we have for them, when they're in need, and they see that love we have for them, hey, you know what? I want what he has. Yeah. Yes. Amen. I want what he has. Yes. Love. Love, love, love. 
We've got to mm -hmm. have a lot of love. Amen. Praise God. You see, and that's the godly love. That's the love that He loved us with. We want to love Him back. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, I love you. I love you, Lord. You know, if people would take time instead of complaining and griping and just say, Lord, I love you because you love me. Mm. Things will change for them. No amen, but that's, that's okay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. God wants to be loved by two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He wants to be worshipped and adored and thanked and praised and glorified and magnified. Why? He's God. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Amen. He's worthy of it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so many times in my life, man. Hallelujah. Woo, when things look man, I ain't going to make it. Woo. I just take time and say, Lord, I love you, Lord. That you love Amen. me. Amen. Hallelujah. And your promise he is goodbye. to supply all of my needs. That's right. Hallelujah. Spiritual, physical, material, financial, and even in my mature age, mentally too. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Why? He loves us. He loves us, man. He loves with a never ending love. And then we love him back. And it's that same love we're going to have for our friend, for our neighbor, for our loved ones, mm -hmm. for our family. I think what I, 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 I'm pretty sure everybody here has a loved one that's not saved. Oh, yeah. We'll have loved ones. But I guarantee you, we can love them into the kingdom of God. Yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah. If they see the love of God in us. Hallelujah. They, they, see, like I said, a, 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 a lot of people say, well, show me. I want to see it first, like a Thomas, you know. Uh -uh, I won't believe it until I see it. Then I get my finger in his hand. I won't believe it. See? Love. Love, love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Hallelujah. Love, nothing in our spiritual life is going to work mm -hmm. unless we walk in the love of God. Nothing. That's good. Nothing. There you are. See, the Word of God says that faith works by love. Amen? Yes. Now, if you, if you went out and you bought a brand new tire, okay? You can put it in your car, but you forgot to put air in it. Yeah. What's going to happen? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, same way when you put the air in there, that tire is going to run smoothly. Yes. Same thing with our faith. Hallelujah. Without love, it ain't going to work. Right. Because faith worketh by love. The same Hallelujah. thing that air is to the tire, love is to faith. Hallelujah. Oh, boy. Yes. Amen. Thank you for your love, Lord. Love. There's several things that can hinder that love. At our church here a while back, uh, uh, a lady that got saved and she was having all kinds of problems. She was always sick. She was always in need. In, a, in a, you know, in need. So one time, <laughs> by the Holy Ghost, I went and I talked to her. What's your problem? I mean, don't you believe that God's able? Oh, yeah. But see, she, she was harboring unforgiveness in her heart. Somebody in her family done her wrong. I said, well, your faith is going to work. You can pray all you want to pray. You can cry out to God all you want to cry out. But if if, if, you, if you don't love and forgive, you, you might well forgive. That's good. So she finally got a hold of it. After a couple of weeks of talking to her. Faith worketh by love. I got it. And when I love, I forgive and forget. Amen. 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 Is that a whole bunch of amens in there? That's great. Thank God. 
<laughs> That's the way it should be. Yes. Man, if, <clears throat> if God can forgive us and take our sins and bury them in the deepest part of the sea and just yeah. forget about them. Hallelujah. Yeah. Why can we do it with our neighbor? That's right. Or somebody yeah. in our family. Forget about it. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> Love. Love. Love is the thing that makes the world go round. <laughs> it's a whole song. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. I think you what? Strive? Woo! Mm. <laughs> we'll hold back. The blessed God. Strive will make us drop our chill of faith. Yep. It'll yeah. keep our prayers from Preach. being answered. Preaches. Somebody here, listen to me now. This is by the Spirit of God. Don't walk and strive. Nope. Your prayers will not be answered. You'll open up the doors for the devil to come in and do three things. He does real good if you allow him. Rock, destroy, and kill. Amen. That's right. right. That's good preaching. Because we're not walking in that love. In that God kind of love. God kind of love. Hallelujah. Amen. See, you have to walk in love. Yep, but, but you don't know what they told me. It doesn't matter. <laughs> One thing I learned in ministry, and uh, the more mature I get, uh, is things that people, you know what they say about me? They don't follow me no more. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the greater one in me rises up. Hallelujah. Amen. And give me the confidence that as long as I'm right with Him, that's all that matters. Amen. Amen. That's right. As long as we walk in love, hallelujah. Oh, that's good. Don't walk in strive. Strive will paralyze the power of God in your life, in your family's life, and even in your church. When we walk and strive. Now forgiveness, oh my goodness. That's a come we have to guard our relationship Amen. with God first. Mm -hmm. And then with our neighbor. Amen. We have to guard our relationship with each other. Love one another. Hallelujah. Forgive one another. Forget about what they did to you. Do good to them. Mm -hmm. And pray for them. He walked back, this guy at the church. He, he was trying to, but anytime you want to do something for God, the enemy is going to come in. Mm -hmm. He even used somebody in the church to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. This man came over and he wanted to stir some stuff up, you know. So I, all I did is I took him like that and gave him a hug. Come on. I'm going to buy you supper. Come on. We went to can eat. And he shared with me what he wanted me to do. Because I had said something wrong that he didn't like. But, but, but the, the, the first thing I the uh, first thing I said now, what I said was it against the word of God? No. Uh -uh. I'm sorry. I mean I I I, I can't say what the word of God says. And as you know, to this day, he's one of my best friends here at the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even before I left, he gave me an offering. Later, mm -hmm. brother. You know, for gasoline or whatever. Love, man, love can change our lives, man. Amen. If we allow it. Yeah. Ephesians 4, you know, it, 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 it says, I think, well, it.